In July of 1973, Clara and Phil Dandy moved into this unassuming farmhouse bordering the woods of Hinsdale, New York, thinking that it would be a nice cozy place to raise their children. They would hardly last for more than a year. Their troubles began within days of moving in, minor annoyances like constant hang-up phone calls and cabinet doors getting left open, and then not so minor things like a soft chanting coming from deep in the woods. Soon apparitions were roaming the hundred-year-old house along with faces in the windows. As the weeks dragged into months, they recruited the help of a clergyman named Father Alphonas to cleanse the house, upon which they claimed to have felt a scream rattle the walls, followed by a period of calm. However, the peace and quiet lasted only a few days before the spirits returned in full force, forcing the devastated Dandy family to move out 13 months later in October of 1974. The house has chewed through a few more families since then. None of them stayed for long, but nobody knows what they saw. The house couldn't sell and fell into a state of disrepair until 2015, when a paranormal investigator named Daniel Clace purchased it for him and his team to conduct their research. Daniel is an author, speaker, and paranormal documentary maker who co-founded the Western New York Paranormal Society in 2012. He has been interested in the paranormal his whole life, and that's why these videos seem legitimate, starting with this one in the downstairs bedroom. These spheres of light could be dust particles, or they could be spirit orbs that appear when the air becomes charged with paranormal energy. One thing that's weird is they are always moving straight up, all of them, and sometimes two at a time. This live camera feed is over 30 minutes long, and not once does an orb move downwards. That's definitely odd. And remember, I said faces are seen in the window. Well, I think this might be one of them, black eyes and all. Daniel uploaded the next video after he let a different team of ghost hunters investigate, a group called the Warriors of the Paranormal. They didn't want to miss anything, so they slept in shifts. One of them named Bobby Ann is asleep on the couch when this appears over her. A closer view only presents more questions. I see tiny ears, but the face is blacked out and it has no visible eyes or a mouth. It looks like it could have been fur, but that could also be bare skin. It's not a raccoon or a small dog, but those are the only two things it even remotely resembles. Maybe it could be a hand puppet, but there's no room for a second person to lay beside her, and she is facing the camera with the covers over her, so it can't be her. And it almost definitely can't be a wild animal, because I think even the deepest sleeper would wake with something so close. This is a different view from behind the couch. Bobby Ann turns in her sleep and looks at what's wrong with her arm. This part looks like their arm, but but this circled part looks like something entirely different as it raises up then disappears, so maybe it was part of the blanket or something. But this rising dark apparition definitely is not. I don't know about you, but that definitely looked like some shadow person activity. Or maybe edited. Either way, I've saved the creepiest part of all for last. Check out this ghostly figure standing over the couch. It looks like a little girl in a dress with her head down, watching. I bet you didn't notice, but she was there all along. Hospitals are incredibly haunted places. Posted to YouTube in September of 2019, HRJ Paranormal Adventures navigates this hospital, situated at the foothills of the South Pittsburgh Mountain. The 68,000 square foot hospital was founded in 1959 but the haunting may date back to well before it was built. Unlike Penhurst, there are no reports of mistreatment at this hospital during its operation, but there were reports by hospital employees of paranormal activity, such as inanimate objects moving of their own accord, disembodied voices, and dark shadowy figures, including a seven foot tall man on the third floor, who is believed to be a former surgeon who practiced at the facility. He's not the only one haunting the third floor. A toddler spirit and an elderly woman have both been observed there. Two other spirits, a janitor and a female spirit, known as the naughty nurse, haunt the basement. This has drawn many paranormal investigators to the hospital since it closed in 1998. HRJ Paranormal Adventures manages to capture a few paranormal entities in this video. One is a ghostly reflection that appears twice at 3 minutes 53 seconds, and then again at 3 minutes 58 seconds. 
follow the crew on their hour-long investigation of this haunted place, and you might just capture a few more spirit sightings and disembodied voices. Ryan Keelan and his friend Nick are checking out the Boca Raton Cemetery in search of two ghosts. One is named Mary, and the other is only known as the Screaming Man. These two spirits are supposed to reside in the far western part of the graveyard, where terrifying shrieks can sometimes be heard according to local reports. Ryan and his friend hope to spend a full night in the cemetery. They get to the western part around sundown and start to experience signs of the paranormal almost instantly. This light's flickering. Look. See? No. Soon it becomes apparent that the lights are clearly turning off in front of them wherever they go, one light at a time. Oh, I wish. Oh. They are sure that Mary is trying to lead them somewhere, so they reluctantly follow using the lights as their guide. The lights continue to go out one by one until they stop at a place where they can feel her presence. Look at this part and let me know if you can see the dark silhouette of Mary's ghost on the wall. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. A short while later, they both see something off camera and bolt. I think there's a good chance that their terror is real because, as you can see here, Nick is so scared that he doesn't even notice his phone fall out of his pocket. Ryan returns later with a second friend, Jesse, and they find themselves once again getting led by the lights. See, this is the light that was flickering last time. Yep, there it is again. He's all oh boy. This time, Ryan decides that this is too unnerving and opts not to follow. Who knows? Mary and the screaming man could have been waiting for them right around the corner. Some things are urban myth. Then again, some myths and legends have some basis in reality. Published to YouTube in June of 2007 by Heather Stone, the video shows Crybaby Bridge on Burroughs Road in Livonia, Georgia. Apparently, there are several crybaby bridges in the state of Georgia. They're a thing of legend. This is one of those legends. Don't be fooled by the modern concrete bridge linking the county's two sides. The old iron bridge still stands alongside it, and that's where the haunting happens. The video shows a group of friends investigating the local legend. According to the video, the story goes that a new mother was riding home in a carriage with her newborn baby, and as they crossed the bridge, the horse became spooked. He jumped up, causing the carriage to tip over, and the occupants both lost their lives. From there, you might hear a baby cry, or haunting horse hooves on the road, or you might just see the woman in white searching for her baby over the bridge. When you come near her, she disappears. Will the group see any of this? You're about to find out. The group arrives on the bridge, exits the vehicle, and one of the girls screams the necessary words. What? Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, you can do it. Kill your baby, baby! <laughs> A moment later, you can hear the car doors lock. The car alarm then goes off and sounds as though it's going haywire. What's <laughs> what? What? What's going on? What are you talking about? Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Oh, oh, you are oh kidding. God. Oh my gosh. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. They all clamber back into the vehicle, and as the driver is attempting to turn on the lights, you see the figure of a woman flash into view ahead on the bridge. Screaming ensues. Lots of it. Oh my god. Oh, so turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Ah! Although there are plenty of naysayers in the comments, at least to attest to the validity of these girls' claims, Brandon Childs notes, I live over here by this. You get used to hearing screaming girls and sometimes guys in the middle of the night, but I do believe there's something about that bridge. Weird stuff, man. Weird is an understatement. This is some of the most convincing footage I've seen in a while. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by AMRV underscore 5, this poltergeist activity left this resident with more questions than answers. The Redditor explains that she's been living in this apartment with two roommates for months, and they've noticed that nothing seems to stay on the walls, from pictures to posters. 
Due to the home's age, they thought that a lack of insulation and drafts were causing tape and sticky tack not to stay put. After being gifted some original artwork, they put some framed pictures up on the walls with nails, but the very first night, both of the frames fell from the wall. This happened a couple of nights in a row. One night, one of the pictures started moving slightly, so the Redditor broke out her camera and captured this. The video shows the frame moving, just as they'd witnessed before. It happens several times, and then the rolling chair swivels around. No one is near it. The Redditor pleads, can anyone tell me what this is? What's going on here? While well, some in the comments think there must be fishing line involved, some are suggesting that perhaps an air vent came on. There is, in fact, a vent up in the corner of the room. Still, others think it could possibly be a paranormal entity. A second video seems to suggest it's the latter. In the video, the Redditor does a vent test to see if the heating cycle is causing any sort of disturbance to the frame. As she's standing there waiting for the heater to come on, a loud disturbance is heard outside her room. <laughs> She heads over to investigate and finds a boot thrown on a stair below. As she's looking around, another loud bang is heard from back in her room. When she returns, the frame has fallen from the wall onto her desk. She notes that the air has not come on yet. While Redditors are convinced by the second video, Many are agreeing with then safety 5971 who writes, If it's fake, you still got me. What do you think? I can't think of any explanations outside of the paranormal. Think you know the volatility of a poltergeist? Think again. Published by C's Crazy Crossroads, the YouTuber writes, A rock comes off of the piano towards me. Absolutely insane capture. It is at the 2.47 mark. Apparently, this YouTuber hadn't caught the absolutely creepy capture until his viewers pointed it out to him after watching his original video, which is certainly surprising, as the paranormal behavior is quite obvious and alarming. As he walks through an abandoned church at night, a rock clearly comes flying at him from a nearby piano. You can see the rock actually fling towards him and ricochet off something behind him. Who or what threw this rock at crazy crossroads? I'd wager it was something or someone straight out of a nightmare. A bottle of cleaning solution is far from scary until it moves across the counter on its own. The clerk has his back turned so it's not him. It never moves when he's looking. He can sense something strange but when he turns around, the object stops. He probably has the bottle out because he wiped the counter down. If the surface is still wet, then that could be why the object is sliding towards him. But if that were the reason then, why would it stop moving every time he turns around? That part seems more like a ghost is messing with him. So is our freaked out friend in India really working front desk at a haunted office building? Based on the weird things caught on CCTV, I really think the evidence presents a strong case for the paranormal. Patrick Janssen goes into the basement to retrieve some belongings, among them a camera, when he sees something out of the corner of his eye. He decides to start recording all around him since he has his camera anyway, and he's surprised by what he finds. Here it is again in slow motion, a black shadow passing from left to right as he walks forward. A shadow that looks different than his own is shown here at 32 seconds, which looks normal and comes from the proper angle. So tell me if Patrick is just good at video editing, or if there's truly a shadow person in his home, because I think something could be living down there rent free. A YouTube channel called Rick Now TV posted this while traveling across the European countryside. He is recording a dreary meadow from a train when he spots an oversized figure standing at a distance in the fog. The fog creature looks like a silhouette and is gone within the short time it takes him to zoom in and refocus, but in the instant it's there. 
You can see that it is about the same height as a nearby tree and large well. Rick Now TV suspects that this is a ghost, but perhaps it's further evidence of Slenderman, the elusive tall and dark creature who is said to be able to change its shape, size, and appearance at will. This driver and his friend both spot something strange while driving in Davidson, Maryland. They claim that this is a large black mass. I don't see anything during this first part, but let me know if you do. Dude, get out of here. Back up, back up, bring off back. I definitely see something here though, and I'll even highlight it for you. There it is again. I see it. Get out of here. Go, go, oh, go, go. What's crazy is how the object mysteriously disappears in less than a second. based on how fast they speed away. I have little doubt that this video is absolutely real and they felt like their lives were at risk. A team of cryptid hunters make a wild discovery deep in the woods of North Carolina. In the Uari National Forest is where they find a mysterious imprint that extends 13 inches long. They think this is not a footprint but a handprint with oversized knuckles at one end and a wide base of the palm at the other. Hey guys, I'll show you what we just found. We got us a 13 inch tracker just a little over. We sure did. We got toe prints. We got the break in the middle. Right here. Yes, sir. I kind of see what they mean, but I'm not sure if this is from a cryptid or not. It kind of looks like where a rock could have been or something. I'm also wondering why there aren't any prints to accompany this alleged handprint, but at the same time, I don't have a solid explanation for what caused this and was wondering what you think about this extra creepy sighting in the woods. Well guys, so far we've found what looks like to be either handprint or knuckle prints again. And we just come across this track right here. so. That's awesome. That is awesome. This video is quite short at only 7 seconds in length and leaves us with more questions than answers. Two girls are filming a YouTube video with a large doll toy. If someone could translate this part, it could give us more insight into what the video was supposed to be about. <laughs> Instead, the toy starts moving all on its own, staring directly at one of the girls. The girl off camera tells her to look at the toy, and when she does, she throws it down in fear. Their reactions both seem very genuine, and if this isn't paranormal, then I have no idea what caused this. There's someone down there! I'm literally shaking right now. I am on my own right now. Hello? A YouTuber named Andrew Duffy has a paranormal problem in his basement that literally leaves him shaking with fear. Is there someone in here? Make your presence known. Do something now. He shakes throughout the entire 10 minutes and 43 seconds of this video without a break, which would take some talent to fake. Here's a good example. A paranormal researcher named Eduardo Hounter is exploring an abandoned hospital in the northern part of Mexico City. He gets pretty far and eventually sets up a camera in an old examination room hoping to record some scary things on video. At 3 a.m. things get pretty weird. An old chair groans under the weight of an apparent ghost doctor sitting down. I don't think this was done with a string either. The top half of the chair moves while the wheels remain stationary. Or perhaps Eduardo simply put the wheels in a locked position first. I'm not sure what to believe. There's arguments for both explanations, so take one last look and help me decide.
These videos were taken at the annual Global Citizen Music Festival of 2018 in New York City. Everyone is enjoying the late night concert until a crowd of people suddenly start trying to escape and basically cause a stampede. Nobody knows what they are running from, and they won't find out until much later, but everybody is moving fast and afraid for their lives. Their voices are filled with panic and raw fear fuels their every step as they grab their friends and try to get out as fast as they can. What the f*** just happened? I have no idea what's happening. The situation becomes all too real when a head officer of the NYPD comes on stage and makes a brief and serious sounding announcement. Try to move backwards is all the police will say without any further explanation, which sends everyone into even more of an uproar. Those who make it out find the entrance is swarming with emergency vehicles, but still nobody knows why. As it turns out, the source of the commotion was a large steel barricade that fell over and made a loud banging noise. The bang carried throughout the venue and sounded like someone discharging a firearm which caused a panic. I can only imagine how stressful this must have been for everybody, especially when none of them know what is wrong at the time. Fortunately, a strong police presence was able to keep the evacuation orderly and help stop people from trampling over each other. Midlothian, Scotland is no stranger to witches. Salem was bizarre enough. But the great Scottish witch hunt was on a whole other level. This drone video sure seems to suggest that witches continue to walk among us. Or at least they walk in quiet fields within our vicinity. That's what this alleged witch was doing when captured on video by a drone. The woman dressed in a red skirt, black top, and with long, lanky, black, maybe gray hair is first seen standing quite still in the field. The video then shows her turning around, swaying slightly, her face quite pale. She seems to be dancing or performing some ritual as she raises her hands in the air and then places a foot forward. Is this a real life witch? If not, what in the world is she doing? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.